Has the NRA donated to me? I, I don't think the NRA is quite the boogeyman the Democrats think it is. Do we hit him on guns, or does everyone who cares about every, guns is going to vote for me? Is there any issue upon which you disagree with President Trump? Obviously there is, because I've, I mean, I've voted contrary to him in the Congress. I have to frame it in a way that's not going to piss off all his voters. So what I do is I do what I think is right. I support um, his agenda in terms of what he's been able to do. If I have a disagreement, I talk to him in private. I think when you walk up there, if you have a pad, you have to write in all caps at the top of the pad, likable. And then look, I, I do the same thing because I have the same personality. We're both progressive. That was newly obtained footage of the then congressman Ron DeSantis preparing for his 2018 debate and I think this is significant because it shows that even back then, the Republicans like DeSantis knew that the Donald Trump extremist MAGA base of voters were a separate entity from the then mainstream Republicans. In other words, Ron DeSantis was aware that he had to pander to MAGAs in order to win the election, which ironically is the same thing he is going to have to do if he stands a chance of winning the nomination, which let's be honest, he has no chance. Donald Trump is torching him on Truth Social. He is clobbering him in the polls and Ron DeSantis hasn't done himself any favors with his likability. Which brings me to my next point. If you guys heard in the video, one of his staffers told him to literally write the word likable. Oh, sorry, I moved my mic there. Write the word likable in all caps on the debate podium for him to read. This guy knows how unlikable, uncharismatic, and uncharming he is. And he hasn't gained any charm since 2018. So, I mean, this video, it's, it's funny to watch. At the same time, it's pretty inconsequential. Ron DeSantis never had a shot of becoming the nomination. It was always becoming the nominee. It was always going to become Donald Trump, who, in my opinion, still has no shot at beating Biden. He lost by 7 million votes, and since then, he has been arrested, incited an insurrection, and is under several criminal investigations that are likely to bring more indictments in the very near future. So thank you guys for watching and I will continue to uncover the truth.